Hello everyone, my name is Carl Wilson, welcome to my workshop and welcome to my channel. In this uh, relatively short video we're going to be finishing off the puller tool for the bearing locating bushes on the Harrison horizontal slash vertical mill. Um, we're going to be making the, um, the, the threaded portion which uh, pulls out the, the bushes. We're going to be doing a little bit of facing on the end of the, uh, the stainless steel tube. And then we're going to do some TIG welding, which is going to be interesting because I haven't done any for about five years. And that should test whether the TIG welder works and whether this TIG welder still works. So let's see how we get on. Okay, you're on tailstock cam. We'll touch off and we'll take a, uh, a facing cut of the tube. Just put a chamfer on those edges now. Let's move you back a bit. I'm moving you. There we go. A little bit of oil. Can't do any harm. Here's the uh, ER32 collet chuck. I love the cam lock, so simple. Okay, I've just touched off, so we'll take a facing cut now from this uh, piece of threaded bar. And we'll set the DRO up.
7.94 which is good enough for this I think. We're going for 7.938 so I'm going to go for 7.94. Right, we'll get a chamfer on this and um, we'll get a thread on there. stock cam now um, I've got the uh, the 5 16th UNC die backed up by the tail stock so we'll get a thread onto this end let's get the die started just I'm using the new uh, a new Jacobs chuck in the tail stock just the face of it just to back up the die just it makes it easier for me to film it basically it gives me a bit more space so I think that's the die well started we'll get the tail stuck out of the way and the carriage I'm going to have, to have to shift the carriage up to get the to get the tail stuck in I've got the machine on its lowest um, Gear ratio to lock the, the spindle basically. Right, I'll put a little undercut in this as well just to make sure that um, it will screw all the way home. Right, I think that's us. Let's have a look and see what we've got. We should have about 8 mil of uh, 5 sixteenths UNC thread minus the undercut and that is indeed what we've got so we'll thread that into those uh, plugs now and see if it fits so we've got the makings of this tool now. Here's our piece that we've just made. So we have the 5 16 by 18 UNC thread on the end. This is obviously M12, this thread. I know I said I was going to use high tensile uh, round uh, threaded bar rather, but I decided not to. I had uh, some of this um, just mild steel stuff knocking about, so I decided to use it. It seemed a bit overkill to use the uh, high tensile steel, uh, but we'll find out. So that now threads into the 5 16th UNC on the plug very nicely. That goes in 8mm of engagement. We've then got our tube that we machined, the, that we faced, and our spot faced uh, beam that we made with Harry. So we can assemble these parts now, and we can see how, just as per the drawing uh, that we did on the whiteboard, that you can just a little see behind me actually. Uh, how this is going to work when we, when we thread this nut on um, it should pull the uh, the plug out now um, these have got locking grub screws in them so I'm not going to attempt to do a pull here just to, for the sake of it although I am sorely tempted I'm going to put a little bit of weld as I said around these uh, these edges just to pull the whole thing together so it, it stays together as a tool um, I mean I could use it like that but I want to weld it because I want to make sure that the welder still works and more than that I actually want to make sure I can still do it so uh, I'll bring you back when uh, I'm having a go at um, tacking these up so it did indeed fit I'll show you in a minute I'm just going to take a facing cut off the end of this uh, bar just to um, threaded bar rather just to tidy it up and make it look uh, nicer 
let's put the uh, lathe in the correct speed, shall we? That might help. Got a VFD on this machine, but I like to use the gearbox as well just to give me that range. Okay, here we go. About a thousand RPM. better I'll put a chamfer on that it just makes it look like a, a finished article rather than uh, have that sort of remnants of a rolled thread on it which is what it did have right there we go That's nice. Okay, so the next job is going to be welding the body of this tool together. Well, it's got a tack on it. Let's put one on the opposite side now. Well, that was reasonably successful. Let's see if we can weld it together now.
Well, do you know what? For a numpty like me, that is actually not too shabby. Go to the other side now. Well, that side's not quite as good, but it's not going to come apart. Let's put it that way. Right then, people. Considering I haven't done a TIG weld in about five years, and I'm not a TIG welder, and that's right on an edge, I don't think that is too bad. I mean, it's not brilliant but it's not going to come off I'm just happy I didn't melt the edge off right I'll show the other side now okay this is the opposite side the second one I did um, I kind of wandered a bit with the torch here but uh, I didn't have a great uh, position to be honest with you I just wanted to get it done maybe a slight undercut here in the edge but nothing too bad to write home about um, I think it's not too bad considering I haven't done it in a long time, and uh, I'm not a welder. And, uh, you know, that's putting it kindly. Focus. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. And it's certainly not going to come apart. Okay, we'll get it together and we'll show you it all assembled. Okay, so here it is. One completed puller tool. Um, it's got quite a nice feel and look to it. kind of gives me... Um, makes me think of the sort of specialist tools I used to use when I worked on aircraft. A lot of them were kind of um, made up by uh, workshops at uh, British Aerospace and places like that, odd ad hoc. So yeah, it's nice. Um, well, all that remains now is for us to use it. So there you go. That's the end of this build video. So oof, that was painful. As I say there, that's the end of the, the, the tool build video series. Um, not that it was much of a series, but you know, it's something, isn't it? Um, so the next uh, video that you'll see from me will be more to do with the mill uh, and the mill knee specifically. So we'll get on into that a little bit more uh, deeply. Um, if you're watching this and you've subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. We've had a few more subscribers since uh, the last video I put out. Um, so thank you very much to everyone who's subscribed. If you are watching and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so because it can only help me to improve the channel. So uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy and bye for now.